As the 1948 season of the Cleefolks Miniature Railway was in full swing, Mr Botterill was in discussion with the Cleefolks Borough Council about reopening the line in a better position. These discussions sparked the idea of another locomotive which could help out with the workload needed when the new line was complete. This is where the Cleefolks Flyer's story begins. My name is Dylan and I will be your guide for the history of the Cleefolks Flyer, now known as Rob Roy. Commissioned in 1948, this locomotive was loosely based on an LNER Peppercorn Pacific, which at the time were being built in Doncaster. Construction started in 1948 in the hope she would be finished before the opening of the new line for the Cleefops Miniature Railway in 1949. However, when it first arrived, William Bottrell was not entirely satisfied with the locomotive. Ernest Dove of Nottingham took her back to his workshop to rectify all the issues Mr Botswell pointed out to him, saying it would only take a couple of weeks. Thankfully, she was finished in time and was in service for the first day of the new line's opening near Cleefolks Boating Lake on Saturday the 28th of May 1949. After being given the number 1949, the locomotive received the name the Cleefolks Flyer and was finished in a lovely blue livery as stipulated by Cleefolks Borough Council. The tender was lettered BR, presumably denoting Bottlewills Railways, and not the recently formed British Railways. She carried her name on two straight nameplates on each side, mounted on her running boards. With only been in service for just over a week, the Cleefolks Flyer and the other members of the CMR fleet carried 11,000 passengers over the three-day Whit holiday weekend. All seemed to be going well, as three more locomotives joined the fleet as the years went on. However, in 1953, times were changing and Mr Botterill's lease had ended. The age of steam on the Cleefolks Miniature Railway came to an end as the new owner of the line, Arthur Clefro, went down the electric avenue with the arrival of three new battery operated locomotives and new carriages in 1954 which would serve the Cleefolks Electric Miniature Railway until 1971 at the end of the ten and a quarter inch gauge era. As Cleefops went electric, Cleefops Flyer left the public view for a good number of years. She was sold on to a gentleman named David Hunt, whose family owned a bicycle shop. She remained in his ownership for some 40 years, and as we know, wasn't used in that time. She did have some work done to her, such as repairs to the firebox, and had a repaint. By 1981, she was now in a lovely green livery. Now, you may be asking, what happened next? As David Hunt was in advancing years, his family put the locomotive up for sale and in May 1994, the Cleefops Flyer was purchased by Roy Pullen from Slough. However, when she arrived into his care, she was in poor condition and required a lot of work. During 1999, Roy Pullen rebuilt the locomotive into a British Railways Britannia class locomotive, his favourite class of all time. When completed, the rebuilt locomotive was given the number 70055 and a new name was picked. Rob Roy was the choice to keep with the Scottish names given to the Britannias that carried the numbers 70050 all the way up to 70054, which had high sided tenders but with a nod to the owner and the rebuilder. After a brief stay at the South Downs Railway at the beginning of 2001, she was moved to a new home on the 1st of August of that year, this new home being the Eastleigh Lakeside Railway. She remains on permanent loan to the railway, but still belongs to Roy Pullen.
we celebrate our 75th anniversary, for the first time since 1953, Rob Roy returned to Cleethorpes to be a part of the story of Cleethorpes Miniature Railways, which is now open at Lakeside Station. Thank you for joining me on this little journey through the history of Cleethorpes Fire. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it very interesting. If you are liking the content that we are showing on our YouTube channel, please be sure to like, share and subscribe.